My gosh, what a beautiful looking crowd you guys are. It's, it's wonderful that we've got this many people out. It's wonderful that we've got the people we did out. It's a great cross-section of the community here tonight, and I'm just so thankful that you've all come. I mean, there's, there's lots of things that go on in each of our lives, I know, and there's lots of things that are important. We believe this is important, and we are really grateful that you've felt this important enough to, to come out tonight as well. So thank you very much for coming. So as, as Marie mentioned, I am the chair of New Dawn Enterprises, um, and we are in some sense hosting tonight. So I guess what I'd like to do here tonight is tell us a little bit about your host, a little about New Dawn, and a little bit, little bit about why we are here. So depending on who you are, um, depending on, on what you do, you might have an existing relationship with New Dawn. And if you do, you probably don't know only one piece of New Dawn, because it pretend to be many New Dawns. So let me tell you about the New Dawns that there are. There's at least three New Dawns that we, we can think of here. First and foremost, we have New Dawn Enterprises. New Dawn Enterprises is the, bi the business part of New Dawn. That's like, it's a community business. And what's unique about New Dawn Enterprises is that it's a non-shareholding business. And so what that means is, when New Dawn makes a profit, when New Dawn makes a surplus, 100% of that surplus goes back into this community. So New Dawn, the, the business side of New Dawn is a way for the wealth of this community to stay in this community. And we have a number of different businesses that we run in real estate, real estate training, and healthcare. The second New Dawn you might know is New Dawn Holdings. And New Dawn Holdings is the financial arm. Um, and in, in Nova Scotia, we've got this great policy that, that enables groups to um, create what's called a Community Economic Development Investment Fund, a CDF. And New Dawn Holdings is organized around a CDF. And this past year, New Dawn Holdings raised almost $2.5 million in its CDF. And no doubt, there are many of you are shareholders of that CDF in this room. Um, and that's actually hit in a historic raise for a CDF in, in Nova Scotia by a, a significant amount. And the third New Dawn that we might uh, want, to, want to know about is the New Dawn Foundation. And you have to help me with this one because we call it the New Dawn Foundation, but we also recognize that foundation is the wrong word for this organization. So it's sort of, we're, it's, a, it's a name, but it's only a temporary name until we find a better one. And it's, 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 it's not an appropriate name to call it the foundation because when you think of foundation, you think of charities and those types of things. And certainly the New Dawn Foundation does those types of things. We run the Meals on Wheels in the local area and we run a number of other things that are non-profit and charitable and typical of a foundation. But our foundation has a mandate to do much more than that. And so it's a, it's a foundation that's really about social change, social transformation. And if you've been to one of the New Dawn Ideas Powered by Passion evenings, which uh, have been quite a hit locally, that is one of the, the flavors of the New Dawn Foundation. That's one of the, the key activities of that side of the organization. And, and the foundation is, part of, it, part of what it's, it's about is really about trying to open up a dialogue in this community about figuring out how this community decides for itself where to go. So in some sense, this meeting here tonight is really an activity of the New Dawn Foundation. So we have these three New Dawns. And what, what holds those three, these three organizations together is one common vision. And the vision of New Dawn, one of the interesting things about being part of this organization, when you're, when you're with an organization, and I've been on many, a couple different boards, when you, when you sit around that strategic planning process and you're creating a vision, the vision usually speaks to the organization. This organization will be. This organization will do this. That's what a vision tends to say. What's unique about New Dawn is our, our vision does not say anything about New Dawn. Our vision is a vision for this community. And the vision that we have is a self-reliant people in a vibrant community. A self-reliant people in a vibrant community. 
Self-reliance means it's a process of breaking the bonds of dependency. Whether that's dependency on notes like corporations or complete dependency on governments that are not our own. Self-reliance is about making decisions for ourselves and building relationships of mutual partnership with other governments, with provincial and federal governments, with the corp world outside of our boundaries. It is not about excluding them, but it's about building relationships on an equal footing. A vibrant community. A vibrant community is a community that is prosperous, but not just prosperous in an economic sense. A vibrant community is healthy, is sustainable, is happy. A vibrant community, we must understand, contains multitudes. A healthy community has many voices, many visions, and many dreams that come together. A vibrant community is a community that accepts difference, accepts those many voices, and allows them to be heard in open debate. This vision of New Dawn, this is what really drew us here. This, this issue, the reason why we're here tonight is, is the issue about the harbor. It's the vision of New Dawn that drew New Dawn to this issue. And thinking of this issue around this, the harbor, and thinking about our vision, we've, we've, we've drawn three principles, three principles upon which, upon which the vision is built, but also upon which the vision informs. The first principle is community leadership. The community must take a lead in determining its own future. I mean, this goes back to Tompkins, it goes back to Cody, we must be masters of our own destiny. The second is community ownership. Now there's many ways that we can think of wealth, but in, in the economic sense at least, we need to own the economic wealth creating assets of this community. If you look down the harbor here, if you go over the hill, we can look to the steel plant. And the steel plant did much to build this, this city, this community. But you can imagine all the wealth created by the steel plant. And all of that wealth went to other communities somewhere else to invest in their communities and their community's future. It didn't stay here. With community ownership over key assets, the wealth that gets created in the community stays in the community. And that's important. The third principle that we draw on from here is the capacity of the community. And we do have the faith that this community does have the capacity to take charge of its own future. It can own its own assets and make smart decisions about how to use them. Indeed, if we are to become self-reliant, if we are to become vibrant, we have a responsibility to take ownership. So these three principles and that vision have guided New Dawn through this issue of looking at the harbor. And so this is why we're here. I mean, I think this is, the harbor is where we're getting to put this into practice, but it's clearly much bigger for us. But we are here tonight specifically to talk about the harbor. So as we know, as you know in, in, in the media over the last while, um, there's this, been this debate going on about what to do at the harbor, and in particular, what to do with the assets of Laurentian Energy. And that debate has been framed up as New Dawn on one side and ECBC on the other side. And it is such a shame that that division has been created. We have two organizations here, New Dawn, and you've heard our vision. We have ECBC, which is an organization mandated for the economic development of this island. We have very similar mandates. There is no reason why these two organizations shouldn't be cooperating. And certainly that's the attitude of New Dawn. A number of months ago, Rankin started writing to ECBC to ask for a meeting of 
let's sit down, let's talk this through, let's have a conversation. Let's see what we can do in partnership, what we can do working together. And months, and for months and months, we've heard no, there will be no meeting. In the past couple of weeks, we went to the board and asked the board of ECBC, Enterprise Cape Breton, to please get us a meeting. And thankfully, they've opened up the door for us. We have a meeting coming up this week. This Thursday, we'll be meeting with ECBC. So this meeting here tonight, this really has two functions for us. This allows us to go into that meeting with ECBC knowing what the community wants. We need to bring the voice of the community to that meeting. We need to bring the voice of the community to Enterprise Cape Breton. But secondly, I think this, this meeting here tonight also allows you, us, the community, to start to take ownership of this. This is our harbor. This is our future, and we do have a voice. And it will be heard. So at that meeting on Thursday, when we're at ECBC, certainly we'll be bringing forward what we hear tonight. We'll be bringing forward our vision, and we'll be just open to discussing this with Enterprise Cape Breton Corporation. It is important to note, and I think there's some confusion there, out there about this as well, it is important to note that New Dawn has no intentions of owning the harbor, of owning the assets of Laurentian, of owning any of this. Nor do we, do we want to control it. This is not about New Dawn. This is about New Dawn playing whatever modest role we can to help the community to take ownership, to help the community to take control. You know, there's an election been called, and the timing of that, you know, we have no control over. Um, you could read into this meeting tonight that it might be political. It's not political. Udon does not stand behind any candidate or any party. We are here to speak for the community. I should say, we're not here to speak for the community. We're here for the community to speak to us. Um, my next point is, we're, we try to be careful about this, because at New Dawn, we try to work in the interest of the community, but we don't represent the community. We do not represent the community. We are but one voice, one organization that is unique because we have a, a, a mandate and a vision that is about community betterment, but we do not represent the community. But what we want tonight, what we want from you tonight, is for us to hear the voice of the community so when we get to the meeting on Thursday that we can bring the community's voice forward, that we can speak to the community on this issue at least. So I think it's important, we're at this really important time, this really important moment where that vision of self-reliance, that vision of a vibrant community we're at this moment in time where perhaps we can start to grasp it, we can start to build it, and I think that's what we're doing here tonight. Thank you.